It's the day after April Fool's Day, the day after my birthday. I know you're watching this a few days later, but this is no joke. It is snowing outside. What kind of nonsense is this? This is ridiculous. Diesel. What's going on here, man? Chevy? What's going on? It's snowing outside. You know, isn't it great? No! No, it's not! I was out there this morning and everything, you can see my footprints where I was sinking into the snow. Everything was melting, getting soft. I was like, yeah, spring is on the way. Usually at this time of year, we don't have any snow or we have very little snow, just like around where the sun doesn't hit. But usually it's mostly grass and it's some green grass starting to grow, right? Oh, 2023. What are you doing to me? What's for dinner today? That's cold life. Mr. Noodles and sandwiches. I've been craving lunch meat my whole pregnancy and didn't touch a single slice. So it is time. So why is it that you can't have lunch meat while you're pregnant? Uh, because uh, processed meats that aren't heated up properly and cold cuts you don't want to heat up, they get rubbery. Um, they can carry a bacteria called listeria. It's like a form of food poisoning of sorts, and it can cause like instant miscarriage. I mean, we haven't had an outbreak here, I think, since, I want to say 2019 in Manitoba, but I still didn't want to risk it, just in case. I never knew that, the more you know. So now that she's not pregnant anymore, I don't know what Mr. Noodles has to do with that, but we're making sandwiches. Because you dunk sandwiches in the Mr. Noodles. It's delicious. Is that how you do it? Heck yeah. I just eat the Mr. Noodles straight. Oh yeah, I would too, but... It's gourmet right there. So good with the sandwich. I'm a simple lady. It doesn't take much to impress me. How's this little fartster doing? Oh, big yawn. Good, good stretch. Oh, does that hurt a little bit? Yeah, I get that too. <laughs> hey, have you figured out yet that these are yours? Those hands are yours, you know? Okay, okay. Get the camera out of my face, I get it. So today, Theo gets to meet the last auntie that he hasn't met yet. My sister Rose. <laughs> and my nephew Xander. The first cousin he's meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm You are the first. Yes. And you're actually the first cousin about to hold him, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those, yeah. Those, I have how yeah. I think my other nephews might be a little jealous. A but... little bit. Yeah. yeah. Well, Max too wanted bad. to be here. Yeah. Yeah. He still wanted to be here. He just yeah. isn't feeling well, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it was Playing so, it, safe. it was so, oh. I, I was worried that I might hurt him. You're natural. Oh, you did. No, good. you did good, buddy. You did buddy. really good. You did great. Yeah, mm -hmm. Max has the same thing. Like, he wanted to hold him, but, like. Even yeah. Uncle Josh was like that with other babies, and he's in his 30s. He was always scared to hurt them. Yeah, I never... They have such, like, fragile bodies, like, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. I was always scared of breaking other people's babies. <laughs> I never, uh... Never wanted to hold babies until this one. Now I'm probably going to go for the babies when I see them. Probably. Probably going to want to hold them all. <laughs> yeah. Everything changes when you're a parent. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely, absolutely it does. <laughs> You'll but have more confidence, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My sister Rose has, has two. I have two nephews. This is her youngest. And there's one more at home yet who will meet him soon. Yeah. And Chevy's just loving all the attention. Oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah, he can't wait till Theo. I'm just like, he looked so lonely, and oh, I just wanted sure. to give him 
some love. Oh, hi. Yeah, our dogs are a little mm. lonely. We got the little guys down there. They're not. They're used to having a little bit more attention. Ah. Uh, Especially Wiener. I don't. I don't. I can't. I don't feel like I could pet them as like. Well, yeah. I've always been better with big dogs too. Mm-hmm. Huh. Are you burping him? Yeah. See if there's anything left in there. He didn't burp very much earlier. Yeah. Look at those big eyes. So adorable. Show everybody your big eyes, Theo. Oh, come on. Come on. He's a little milk drunk right now. A little bit. <laughs> milk drunk. <laughs> Yeah. One too many bottles. Just eight. So my sister Rose is quite the artist, and she's passed on her skills to her boys. This is not like the best I I could do. It's pretty darn good. Though. I awesome. have I have most it's, of my drawing stuff in the car. Drawing. Yeah. Yeah. And how long did you, you say that took you? Like a minute. It's That's like amazing. it's a very <laughs> rough sketch. It, you know. So you like drawing anime? I'm Animal? I'm learning how to do it. I'm not huh? at the point. Yet, I'm just drawing, like, practicing eyes and anatomy of the human mm. anatomy and stuff. Well, you're way better than me. Hmm. He's constantly drawing. Me too. Yeah, I'm constantly. Yeah. Everywhere he goes, he has his sketch bag. Yeah, well, my, no offense. Anything he might possibly my friends, My <laughs> friends draw, like, super small and, like, I I used to draw like that. Now I, I, I just am fueled to draw way better. One of these times we'll have to do, like, a, a slideshow of all of your yeah. artwork. Oh, I, can, I, can, I have. Yeah. I can lots. get them now. You got lots here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I brought all my art pieces already. Oh, that's good. Brought his portfolio. Mm -hmm. Everywhere yeah. he goes. <laughs> He's in the car right now. All right. He went out and got his portfolio. It's, it's a little hard to see. That's pretty good. It's way better than I could do. Yeah. Like a boxer squirrel yeah, thing. Close okay. To Oh, nice. Nice. So how often yeah. would you say so you draw? You take like, this everywhere you go, so, so I assume yeah, you draw all like, the time? At least an hour a day. That's awesome. I thought you keep getting better. I'm probably not very good because I don't like draw at all. like a super villain of that one series. Let's see. Okay. He can control metal. Nice. And like rusted metal and stuff. So are these like superheroes? Oh yeah, this guy can move at the with? speed of light. Okay. Oh yeah. So these are all characters in your comic book? Uh no, this is a game that me and my friend Kai just created. Okay. This is the main character. Let's see that. It might be hard to see, but. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Mhm. Mm it all nicely organized. That's good. Then we then we merged Pokemon together, like like maybe the audience knows a few of these. This okay. one's Eevee and Heatmonchan and like I might say that wrong. I just forget the rest of these. This is Lickitung and Dragonite. Okay. <laughs> and then this is my evolution of uh my character, Terry. Mm-hmm. Terry. Yeah, I love it. Terry is more this is like oh, the more. stick man. This is like this. There's a lot. Awesome. <laughs> stick man, and the final one. That like the human cool. stuff. Mm. I think there's a little more. <laughs> no shortage. Mm. Oh, awesome. This is a character called Illumina that me and my friend made. Okay. Try to make it the most 3D. -ish. Sam is a character Something that I made. Simple. Yeah. He just That's cool. Does he have any special powers? No, he's just like a... Just Sam. Yeah, yeah. Sam. All the Sam. Hey, Sam. Cool, That's pretty good. There's a lot more at my house, but... So he was the youngest grandchild up until little Theo got here. Yep. He took the title. Old man. Bit of an age gap. <laughs> Zoom into the old man. Nice. Nice. So it was really nice to visit with my sister Rose and my nephew Xander. Uh, they, I don't know if they've been here. They've been to this house before, right? Uh, yeah, once or twice. Right? Yeah. We don't get to visit with them too often because, you know, life gets busy and they live a little bit further away. But she made the trip out and I was able to meet our little milk monster right there. It was a lot of fun. But man, these days seem to just fly by. Like the time's not moving faster, is it? Or is it? It just really seems like time is just flying by. 
before you know it, I'm going to have to go back to work. That's going to be a tough first trip. <laughs> That'll put a smile on anyone's face, right? Almost as big of a smile as seeing Theo's face. I'll tell you what, that guy, that guy can make me smile even bigger, if you can believe that. Like, sorry, old blue. You understand, right? He understands. Look what came to my shop today. A box, but not just any box. This is my custom visor, designed and made by the good people at 12 Gauge Customs. How do I open it? It's like a giant Christmas present. Come on. <laughs> yes, figured it out. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, it's in there. It's in there. There it is. All right. Look at this. Look at this bad boy. That's gonna look nice. Okay, now they're covered up. I really wanna see it, but I don't wanna take the protective cover over it yet. On the driver's side, this here, this little circle there, that is supposed to be the TJV logo. On the passenger side here, That'll be the bull snot logo, so everyone knows what keeps my truck clean. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, but the the mounts are different than the visor I have on my truck now, so it won't be easy. I'm gonna have to take this somewhere to get it installed, probably. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Nice, nice. All right, so let's not drop it. Let's pull this over the floor. Someone's going to daycare again today. Are you excited? Let's go. Okay, Chef, are you ready? Can you sit? Sit. You can be a good boy at daycare, right? You can be a good boy. Right on. I'll pick you up later tonight. Be good. Let's go. What's up, old blue? How you doing? I'm back. So I did a lot of research after ordering it. They asked me what length I wanted and what width I wanted and what everything that I wanted. And they sent me exactly what I wanted. However, when it got here, the mounts were a little different than I had expected. And it has custom etchings on it. It has the TJV logo right there on the driver's side and has the bull snot logo there on the passenger side. It's a very special visor and I wanna make use of it. So we're gonna make it work. We have to modify it though. I've talked to the shop at PBX where I take my truck. They do all the work to my truck. I trust them. They're the only people that touch my truck. They know some guys that can weld and modify stainless steel like this. We're gonna modify it to fit so that is legal. So we're gonna see if we can make this work. I'm gonna to talk to the professionals who know how to work with this kind of stuff. And they're gonna tell me what they can do. So I've gotta put it back in the box. That came in. All right, and then I'm gonna load it up into the truck. Let's go see what we can do. And just like that, old blue's gone again. Left me again. Now is the time to get it done. I'm not on the road right now. I'm taking time off to be with my, my newborn boy. Now's the time to get all the work I need to get done, done to old blue. So this was the last little thing. It's a little bit of a cosmetic thing. I also installed that uh, tail light light bar. Or I got it installed at PBX. They do great work there. Uh, PBX truck service in Blumenord. I want to give them a big shout out. Just found out today that they watch my videos. <laughs> hey guys, 
Thanks for all the good work you do. I had no idea they watched the videos. That's the thing about making these videos online. You never know who's watching. Turns out they all watch my videos. It's a good thing I only have good things to say about them. I have a rule online on my channel that if I have nothing good to say about someone or a company or something, I just don't say anything at all. And that's been working pretty well for me. I like giving credit where credit is due and PBX has done really good work on my truck. So when they're done with it, I know it'll be perfect. The, I show you the, the wiring work they did on my tail lights because you know there's a tail light bar in the back there. Everything is so professionally neat, symmetrical, neat and in straight lines. They must know. I guess now they know because they watch my videos that I like everything to be neat and tidy. Not like my shop. This place drives me crazy. All that is garbage over there. I need to haul it away. This over here is storage for our house to make room for our baby because babies come with a lot of stuff. I didn't know this. Holy smokes. They come with a lot of stuff. So we had to make room for all that stuff. It's, it's over there. One day we'll have a bigger house and that will be stored in like our basement under the stairs or something. For now, what are shops for, right? A shop isn't supposed to be perfectly neat and tidy, I don't think, but I can definitely do some work to improve this place. But they know that I like everything to be, you know, neat and orderly, even if it's not always neat and orderly. My truck needs a detail on the inside now too. It's not exactly up to my standards. That's life. Life is messy sometimes, right? You just gotta go with it. It's not always easy to keep things clean. But anyways, I'll show you the work they've done. Always like just perfect, nice straight lines. They, they clean up everything. If they break anything, they always let you know and they fix it right away. They don't try to sneak it past you or something. It's, I trust them, is what I'm trying to say. I trust them. So they're gonna put the visor on my truck. I trust them. They told me it's gonna look good. I won't have any problems. I'm looking forward to seeing the finished product. I don't know if they'll be done today yet. It's already afternoon. I'm guessing it'll be probably at least overnight. I didn't tell them no rush this time though. <laughs> Because even though I'm not in a rush, uh, I still want Old Blue back in my shop here as soon as I can. I have some other things I need to do to it, like stuff that I can do, like easy things. My marker lights underneath my headlights at the front need to be fixed. Uh, the wiring came off on one of them. That's something I can do. The truck needs to be bathed and detailed on the inside. That's something I can do. And I need to get all that done before I go back on the road again. So I do need the truck back here as soon as possible, but at the same time, I don't want to rush them because I want them to do their regular usual like 110 percent service on the truck so left the car there they got me a ride back into town here there it, it old blue is in very capable hands no need to worry let's go home now and uh see what theo is up to so remember the other day we went and uh tried to get into canadian tire they were closed well we didn't try to <clears throat> Remember the other day we went to Canadian Tire and they were closed? We wanted to get new light fixtures? Well, we made it today. Clark Griswolding it here. It's a little brighter than we thought it would be, but uh, kitchens are supposed to be bright, we think. That's what Fritz says. I hope I'm right. Because that's pretty bright. Maybe we just gotta get used to it because we're used to such dim lights. I guess it's nice. It lights things up. That's what a light does, and it does it well. And that's where we ended off our day. I'll show you the finished product over here. They turned out pretty good. During the day, you can't really tell how bright it actually is, but those are a lot brighter than we thought they would be. But, you know, they're lights. They work for their intended purpose. They light things up. Right, Chevy? What do you figure? What do you figure, what? Is that diesel on here? Diesel? What do you think my new lights? Very impressive, man. Very impressive. You can start calling you Quark Griefball. No belly rubs. You always want belly rubs, man. Always. Oh, belly rubs are my favorite. Boy, oh, 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 we got, the, we got the foot going over here. We got the foot going over here. Yep. Yep. Oh, that's the spot, eh? That's the spot. <laughs> so thanks for watching today, everybody. And we'll see you next time.